All right, y'all, good morning. <clears throat> this is it. This is the eclipse day. And I've, uh, you know, I've never fished on a day that we've had an eclipse. And uh, I've always just wondered, you know, what does it do to the fish? I know sometimes like moon phases do things to the fish. I know that, you know, when the, the first time of the morning th th does things to the fish right there before evening or when it gets dark does something to the fish. There's a whole lot of science and biology involved in that that I'm not really sure of. But I'm just curious to see what this uh, fishing out here on the day of the eclipse, which I'm sure there's going to be a lot of videos out there about it. But, uh, but I've always wanted to fish one. So we're out here uh, going to fish one. Uh, I guess it's going to be about 1 o'clock is when it's supposed to get kind of dark here. Uh, but anyway, so I'm fishing. A, a, this is a, we've, Well, we fished on that end of the island before, but now I'm fishing on the front end of this island. And it is just, you can see behind me, it is just loaded with brush. Well, what's unique about this is where it does have a channel so the main channel is here then it's, there's a secondary channel that i'm kind of in it and then it rolls right back to that bank and then it comes back around well i scanned it the other day and there's actually quite a bit of junk that's in this itty bitty channel i don't think the the actual you know secondary channel that comes through here can't be but 20 30 foot wide so me thinking now i could be wrong on this but we're going to give it a shot anyway is that them fish may move in that deeper part like it gets 30 40 feet in that the secondary channel here so uh we're gonna sit on it uh throw some baits out we're gonna anchor up starting off today because i want to fish some structure then depending on how that turns out we may go we may go up uh, to a place and do some dragging uh, but we're gonna start here we're gonna see what happens and uh hopefully there's some well some fish and hopefully some big fish laying down there because it just looks too good I mean, just, just tree tops, trees just laying everywhere down here. So one, get one to bite. Uh, two, see if we can't get him out of there. So that's going to be the fun part. But I got fresh skipjack today. Uh, water temps this morning is starting off in the six. Well, it's right at 60. So we're sitting in 34 foot of water. So that tells you that structure is in about, you know, probably about 20 foot down to almost 40 foot right here, which will be on these uh, left boards or left rods here. So... We'll get some bait cut up and I'll get some rods tossed out and hopefully I'm kind of excited for the day. <laughs> like I said, I've never fished during, during this time, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. <clears throat> All right, well, we gave this about an hour. We, had, we did have a few bites here, but nothing too serious. See, I got one little one messing with me over there, but that ain't gonna make me stick around. <laughs> So we're gonna just kind of move around this area and I'm gonna try to find some more structure we can sit on. I still think there's fish in here. Now if I could just get everything back, that would be even better because I threw in some nasty stuff back there. I seen one lone fish. One lone fish down there. I actually seen a couple fish. They were sitting on a log back there. So we're gonna sit here a minute. Probably 30 of them. See if we can't get one of them to bite. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do a little bit more scanning around this little area. Cause on the back side of this, where that secondary channel comes out, it dumps right back into the main channel. That's probably where we're gonna set up unless I find something before that but we're still going to set up there a couple little bites here too okay so we are right on top of well this is a whole nother root wad or something back there some fresh bait cut up and I'll toss it in there and we'll see what happens. Well, I think the little fish found me. I got, I got him. <laughs> I got him. 
I think he's a little flathead. The way he was biting. Yep, I think it's a little flathead. He's just little bitty ticks, like a looks like a small fish. It's kind of weird. Still, maybe a small fish. It is a lot of current right here. No, he's acting like a blue now. A little squirrely headed blue. No, it's a flathead. Sure enough it is. Just crazy. Yep, he was acting like a little flathead, and that's exactly what he is. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Should get the net on you. Yeah, let me get the net. He's just a little too big to pull up over the side of the leader line. All right, come on, buddy. Heck yeah. <laughs> Just slightly too big to lift by the leader line. <clears throat> Ain't nothing like a little flathead action this morning. That's all right. We'll get my glove on this dude. Little flathead action. Well, I like that. Well, I got it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at him. It's not a monster. But it's cool to catch these flatheads. I promise you that. Let me get a picture of him. Not let him go. All right, buddy. I surely do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's nice to catch you on this eclipse day. There he goes. Good deal. That's awesome. I like catching flatheads. So yeah, this is the uh, <clears throat> this is the second well the secondary uh, channel. Like I said, we got the island here. We got the main channel over here. And this is that secondary channel that comes out well, where, where we're sitting. It's kind of where it, it kind of starts to dump off into the main channel because the main channel still swings back this way. And it's kind of a neat little spot. I've never fished this. I, I've never actually never fished any of this through here except for the other day we found that brush up there. We sat on it for a couple minutes, didn't really get anything. But that's kind of neat because I, I know, well, we caught that one flathead, but I'm almost positive that was another flathead. I just rushed him, but kind of a neat little spot. So we're gonna give this a we're gonna give this a little bit, and I've got some more stuff on up that I want to hit, kind of kind of explore a little bit more. But I'm definitely gonna add this to the spots to come back to in the future, because it just sets up pretty good. And the way the way the spawn is gonna start happening, you know, I'd say here in the next month, um, you know, places like this will be a pretty good little area. So because you got a creek mouth up there, it's a small one, uh, but I, I don't know if. You know, maybe shad or something will go up there, so there may be some cats that'll hang out in this area to go up there and feed. 
and there's just a lot of food here a lot of food for these fish so that's kind of where you want to be especially you know right now when uh, these fish are kind of seem like they're wanting to start to you know feed up at some point and there's of course definitely got to be out here at the bite window which seems to be to be midday for some reason i haven't gotten a good morning bite in a while uh, it's usually about midday and then on and it you know kind of shuts off a little bit after that but but yeah we'll give this spot a little sit uh and then we're going to move on up and fish more structure try to find something kind of close to this this is this is kind of neat all right what we're going to do is we're going to move on up just a little bit i'm going to find that there's another tree up here and pretty good looking water so we'll go sit up above that Let's see if we can't have any luck did pretty good right here we had pretty decent bites so that's i want to go ahead and put fresh bait on Get some bait cut up. This. See if there's anything out there. I got a head. Give this a little bit. And see what we can't get to. Oh, right there already. 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 Yep, he's right in that stick. That's where I threw it. Come out of there. Come out of there. Yeah, he's out now. <laughs> well, this is almost like fun. If I had to guess, this is another flathead, if I had to guess. That didn't take long at all. Now he's swimming to me, it feels like. Yep, he was right in that stick, or that treetop. Right in it. And now he's twirling like a blue. Not a big one, but it's just neat to be able to pinpoint these things like that. Yeah, decent little blue. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Again, no monsters. Oh yeah, you'll go, you'll go 10 pounds, 10, 12 pounds. Heck yeah, buddy, I appreciate that. But he was dead in that, that treetop back there. Oh yeah, decent one. <laughs> wow. I appreciate it, buddy. Look at how fat that thing is, boy. Just a big old butterball. Well, I appreciate it. Where's your bigger friends at? They down there too? Thank you. Heck yeah. That was pretty quick. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, he was right in that treetop because I felt him as I was pulling him out. Yeah, I may need to, I may. First, I gotta get this camera covered up. We're gonna get some rain coming in. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go right back up to that same brush pile that we started at uh, earlier this morning. It's been about probably uh, about two and a half hours since we hit it, but we had two bites, and I had that one hooked up in there. Uh, but what I've been doing is I just been. This is not a brave. Probably, I don't know maybe a 200 yard stretch that I've just been picking apart. All I've been doing is just searching for like little pieces of structure that are that way. Well, I say little pieces, but pieces big enough to hold a fish or two. And, uh, and I've just been kind of setting up on them. But like I said, that one up there, it's, it's great big. So I want to go back up there, set up on it one more time. And then we're going to go further up and fish some more structure that I found up that way. So, 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go right back to it. Now, I'm telling you, it has been about two and a half hours since we set back up on it, or since we set up on it the first time. So I'm just curious. I'm curious to see, one, if the fish I had on will bite again. Two, if there's anything else moving up there, because we're, we're midday. It's about 1230 right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go work back up there, and we're going to set up on them. There's a bite on the outside rod, I think, or a stick. No, it was a stick. No, that is a bite. Oh yeah, that is a bite out of that tree. That is interesting. Oh, he's a better fish too. Out of that tree back there. So that tells me that spots like that will definitely load back up. Heck yeah. He's a little bit better fit. We got current, so I gotta, I gotta watch that. I gotta remember that. I'll sit there big eye before I ever get him to the boat. What is he? Kind of dogging like a blue. But he's staying down like a flathead. Let me get you guys turned a little bit. You can see all this. It's kind of dogging like a flathead. What is he? What is he? Oh, oh. He does not want to come to this boat. I know that. Well, he's just a decent blue. Just mean. Just a mean blue. God, he sure fought bigger than that. <laughs> he dang sure fought bigger than that. Come here, buddy. Oh, God. He's quite a bit bigger than I thought you were. Lift you over side like that. Well, that is awesome. <clears throat> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, you've got 20 or so pounds. Probably 25, I had to guess. So that tells me that these spots like this, they load back up or I didn't hit every fish in it at the time. But look at him. <laughs> i get you guys turned this back a little bit. Yeah, look at it. Good looking blue there. All right, buddy. I appreciate that. Heck yeah. I like the fight for sure. Y'all are getting tuned up. I like it. Thank you. Well, you got you got to let go, Bubba. You, you have to let go. I promise. There you go. <laughs> Good deal. Well, I will rebate that and put it right back out there. All right, we're gonna move up and hit that other structure. We pulled one off this, can't beat that. <clears throat> I'm kinda, kinda happy about that. Come back up to a spot where we had one hooked up and had one bite and then come back and catch one. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go uh, hit some other structure. All right, getting some baits out. <clears throat> pretty good looking little spot too got all kinds of scattered timber and brush down there so we will see if there's anything hanging out down there I'm going to try to show you where we're at now with this eclipse it's kind of neat let's see if I can get this over the camera If you can see that. Oh, let me get it. Uh, I think we got it right. Oh, hang on, hang on. I know this is. Well, come on, Micah. There we go. I'm not sure if you can see that or not through this camera, but it's kind of cool. We're about halfway there now. 
<laughs> it's it's kind of cool. It's already starting. You could, I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but it's already starting to get dark out here. So it's neat. Yeah, we are sitting on top of some structure as well. We'll get these out, sit here for a little bit, see what happens. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> now that was quick. <laughs> yep, that was quick. We got, we got current, so he's a little bit better fish, but again, we've got current. Oh, I've, has he got me in something? No, he just, oh, it's a good fish here, boys. It's a good fish here. <laughs> that was quick. I couldn't even get my last rod out. Well, he's, he's either coming to me or he gave up. Heck yeah. That was quick. Right there on that tree. That seems to be the, that seems to have been the pattern, you know. Right there, I got one. Got one messing with this one too. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish here. It stays pinned. I got one playing with that orange rod. See, I had a flathead hit bite like that earlier today. Yeah, he dropped it. Must have been some fish in that tree for sure. Heck yeah. Oh God, it's a good fish here. <laughs> that was quick. I like it when they do that. He's just staying down. Nice blue. Heck yeah, that's a nice blue there. Let me, let me get my net. That is a nice blue there, boys. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Not a monster, but a nice one nonetheless. Got people calling me. I'm trying to land a fish here. Oh yeah. He's not long, but boy, he is sure big around. <laughs> Heck yeah, threw it right in his mouth. I had to. I like it when I do that. All right, chill out there, buddy. Let me let me get this rod out. <laughs> right in that tree. My glove for this dude. He is definitely glove worthy. Heck yeah. I appreciate you, buddy. God, dog. You are not going nowhere. That is a fact. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, look at that one. <laughs> oh, let me get you turned. God, I'm a terrible, terrible cameraman. Oh, 
Look at that dude there. Straighten out, buddy. Straighten out. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Good one. Oh, got the pink rod going. Let me get a picture of this dude. I'll leave the camera running just in case I get another takedown. Alrighty. Alrighty, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Uh, post eclipse fish. Who to thunk it? Well, I was steadily getting nibbles, so there's got to be more fish out there. So we are going to get that dude rebated and back out there. Oop. Just a little bite. So I'm going to get away from these dinks. Because there's, like I said, there's structure right here. So we're just going to move up a little bit. We are going to get away from these dinks. That's all I've been getting for about the last 20 minutes is a bunch of little bites. There we go. There's another one. He was in that tree. God, dog. <laughs> all right, he's out. He's not a, he's not a big one. But it's another fish, and this pattern continues to provide. And all I did is I moved, you can see where that red buoy's at, I just moved just a little bit, just to get up on another piece of structure that I've had marked. <clears throat> Old crazy headed blue. I got this green one getting bit too. Old crazy headed blue. Come up here. Yeah. Not a bad one. Definitely not the monsters we are after, but not a bad one. Yeah, not a bad one at all. hooks man I'm not getting every one of them deep but just muddy as can be good lord well I'll let you go buddy I appreciate that thank you keep the action going keep me keep me thinking what I'm doing is right anyway <laughs> at least I feel like I'm doing something I'm doing the right thing There we go. Oh God, he's gonna get in that other line. Did you go over it? Did you go through it? Yeah, he went through it. There we go. There we go. That was quick. Right after that last one. I know he's in that line. I'm hoping he's over it. I don't think he is though. Probably about the same size, if I had to guess. Heck yeah. Well, I tell you what, this current, boy, it sure makes them feel a lot bigger than what they are. Yep, another one about the same size. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Man, he's slightly bigger than the last one. Well, these old fish are just turned on all of a sudden. I mean, I dang sure ain't mad at them. Heck yeah, buddy. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely bigger than the last one. Uh, 
Heck yeah, look at this dude. <laughs> yep, he's just as muddy as can be also. They're definitely getting to moving around, that's, a, that's for sure. Well, thank you, buddy, I surely appreciate it. I guess it's better late than ever, huh? There you go. Heck yeah. All right, well, I guess let me... Now, both of them come on that shallower side, which, like again, I know there's structure up there, too. Let me cut another piece. Get it out, man. Well, all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. It's uh, We've been sitting here about 20 minutes. Got a couple little bites, but that was about it. Uh, it seems like I kind of I kind of fell outside that bite window. <clears throat> uh, well, I'm probably going to give it about another 10 more minutes. But outside of that, man, it was pretty cool fishing on a fish on a, a, a eclipse day. I didn't really know how these fish would react. I figured they would either, you know, shut off or you know actually bite a little bit better, in which they actually ended up biting a little bit better. Um, but still on that same that, that still uh, in that same bite window between like 11 to like three o'clock. It just seems like that's just <laughs> midday hours. I, uh, and it may be because, you know, the water temp is still 60 something or 61 degrees. Um, I, I don't know, <clears throat> but like I said, I haven't had a morning bite to speak of for a while. And uh, I'm sure that close to the evening, it'll get a little bit better. And they may pick back up again with another feeding window, you know, right as it gets dark or maybe a couple hours in the dark, but I don't want to stay that long. So. But yeah, all in all, I mean, we caught one good fish today. It, you know, I, all of them I'm pretty proud of, you know what I mean? We didn't catch really too many dinks today, uh, but no monsters. Um, but they're yet to come. Like I said, they're they're gonna start moving around, start feeding, start getting ready for the spawn. So they're gonna start getting ready to, to become a little bit easier to catch. Uh, but what I did today, and I'm sure, I, you know, I said it throughout the video, is that I just targeted isolated structure basically on the channel. Um, now the one spot that I did, I did find, well, yeah, he bumped into, ah, something probably swam into the line, but I had a, I had a spot where there was a little secondary channel that come off and it, it was just loaded, littered with, you know, isolated structure. Then it had one big pile of a uh, series of like trees it looked like. And so I worked that area pretty hard and, uh, and it actually worked out pretty good. Uh, it was kind of neat to to get bit in a spot and then go right back to it, you know, about an hour or so later and then catch another fish out of it. So it was kind of neat to do that. So that kind of tells me, and I, and I did that on purpose because I wanted to see if it was like an avenue where they're moving through, and which it is. And they're also, you know, it, was it the same fish that I had hooked up and he came off? I don't know. But, uh, but it's just kind of neat to see how spots like that will reload. Um, so I'm going to probably, I'm going to keep, the next trip I come out, I've got some more structure I want to try to find. I got some more stretches that I don't really fish a whole lot that I want to try to find them little things that's on that stretch. So, but yeah, so I thank you for coming along with this one. And like always, I appreciate you watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.